Hey, what's up you guys? Putting a trailer hitch on your Toyota Camry can take it to some really cool places, whether it be through bike riding, camping, or even towing a small U-Haul trailer through most of North America. So let's go ahead and break down that install for you. All right guys, so this is a fairly moderate install. We will have to drill through the inside of the trunk. So we're gonna start by removing the floor coverings, and then we will go ahead and take out the spare tire. All right, next on the passenger side, we're gonna go ahead and lower our exhaust. We're gonna be removing these two rubber hangers and one a little bit further down. All right, so before we lower it, we're gonna go ahead and support our exhaust so it doesn't fall too far. We'll go ahead and spray our hanger with soapy water and using our exhaust removal pliers, we'll go ahead and slip it off. And there's one more right behind the muffler. All right, our next step is to remove two push pins at the bottom of the bumper located in these two holes. Our vehicle doesn't have them, so we're just gonna move on. Starting on the driver's side, we're gonna go ahead and remove this bracket on the bottom of the frame. We're gonna take out these three bolts using a 14 millimeter socket. All right, next we're gonna go ahead and raise our hitch into position. We're gonna be using our U-Haul exclusive hitch jack. If you don't have a hitch jack, we do recommend that you get an extra set of hands as the hitch is a little heavy. And where we remove the two bolts from the bracket on the side, we're gonna line up the side plate with those holes. Now in the side plates, we're gonna go ahead and install our included bolt and conical tooth washer. And we're gonna to wanna to make sure our, con our teeth on the conical washer are facing the side plate. And we'll just go ahead and install that into, well into the weld nut. And we'll go ahead and tighten them down. and we'll repeat on the passenger side. All right, now with the hitch in position, we're gonna use these two holes in the bottom of the trunk pan to drill our holes for our next bolts. We'll be using a half inch drill bit. Now we're going to take one of our large spacers and we're going to sandwich it in between the trunk pan and the hitch. So we're just going to pry it open a little bit. And 
and line up. And we'll repeat on the passenger side. Inside the trunk, around the holes that we drilled, we're just gonna use a flathead screwdriver and pry up some of this rubber, foam rubber around the holes. And we're gonna go ahead and take our bigger bolts with the large spacer blocks and we'll put those in from on top of the trunk. And then on each of these bigger bolts, we're gonna go ahead and take a lock washer and the included nut and putting the lock washer on first, we'll tighten the nut into place. And we'll repeat on the passenger side. And then we'll go ahead and tighten and torque each of our bolts according to the manufacturer specifications. These two bolts down in the trunk will be using a 19 millimeter socket and the rest will be using a 17 millimeter. And then we'll go ahead and reinstall our exhaust hangers and soapy water will ease that as well. And then we'll remove our strap. And we'll reinstall the spare tire. And then we will reinstall all of our floor coverings. All right, so we went ahead and pulled it down to the level ground to show you some measurements for your hitch accessories. This is an inch and a quarter receiver. And from the pinhole to the edge of the bumper is four and a half inches. And from the ground to the top of the inside of the receiver is 11 and a half inches. That way you'll know what ball mount height will work best for your vehicle as well as bike racks and other accessories. All right guys, that wraps up our install. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions or need more information, you can visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center or visit us at uhaulhitches.com.